Alright, what up you dumb bitches? So, I just got back from work and I'm fucking pissed. Fucking shitty ass day. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna give you guys a review. A fucking oil based one. So today, we're gonna be looking at Deluxe Pomade. So, I don't know shit about this pomade, but it's an oil based and it has very old school cliche design work. So, as you can see, it's straight up only font on the branding, red, off-white and black pretty simple straightforward nothing special at all yay it's made in the u.s so is every single other pomade all right i got directions ingredients and as you can see in the ingredients it's straight up like standard stuff so this thing better be fucking amazing or else it's just the same as everything else beeswax petroleum mineral oil and fragrance come on dude that's like straight up the standard so i mean Looks pretty basic. We'll see if it's anything good. So opening it up, you got off-white. Yay, more grease. I used it today. It's okay, but we'll see how it is on a second run. Because I just showered, so we got some residue or some residual pomade. And we'll see how we do with the buildup. Alright, scooping it out. Yeah, it has a thick top layer like many other pomades. But it does get pretty soft, so kind of like a much thicker version of Royal Crown Pomade. Luckily, it doesn't feel just as greasy as that, so that's a little bit better. It has like a like a watered down like detergent smell to it, and so that makes it a little refreshing, refreshing I mean, and also I get the feeling that they put a little bit of menthol in it, which gives it a little bit of ting, like when it touches your skin, but not much. Or rather, they just have some sort of other, like, um, invigorating, like, oil in them or something. But, yeah, I mean, it's pretty basic grease. Nothing really special. Yeah, the smell is different. The packaging is different. But, like, I don't know. How, like, how many of these pomades do you think exist out there? Petroleum, beeswax, mineral oil, and fragrance. I mean, they already exist. Why make it? You gotta make something new. I mean, is it gonna perform its like, uh, it's what it needs to do? Like, is it gonna do what it needs to do? Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong. It's pretty basic, but why am I gonna buy a pomade that is made out of basic ingredients that will give me a basic pompadour and make me look basic? Because I'm not a basic B. I want something more advanced. I want some next level shit. But anyways, get one more scoop in there and go ahead call it done. Alright, that should be good enough. So we're going to comb it all back now. Where the fuck's my comb? Ooh, that's some good stuff. Alright. Let's look everything back right now and make sure the pomade is evenly distributed. And obviously it's an oil base, it's pretty greasy stuff, so we can expect it to like just spread really easily and just apply like anything else. It's like uh branding does say like a what does it say? Fucking the clean and tidy look. Whatever about the look I got from it, but the pomade itself is slightly a little, a little cleaner and a little tidier than other um, oil-based pomades from the same formula. Um, it's just cleaner and tidier and that doesn't feel as greasy and stuff. So, alright, I'm going to piece and be right back with my hair done like black magic. Boom, black magic, hair done. Alright, so for a basic pomade, I got a basic pompadour. So... Sides are slicked down as expected from an oil-based product. Yeah, my lower, like, not that bad. Where my low taper used to be, I still got a little bit of fraying. Um, part is actually pretty nice and straight. But the pop itself, though at an average height, the shape is terrible. I mean, it's like a square shape, pretty blocky. And not what you would expect out of, like, an oil-based product. Because with, like, a traditional grease, I expect to be able to get, like, a nice spherical look to it. But I guess not with this one. I mean... It's a basic formula, 
for basic pomade and for people who like basic things because they themselves are basic. So basicness for basics. But let me stop being all pissed for a second and t say that basically this thing's a medium pomade, has good shine, pretty slick. Um, not as waxy as I would like it. Yet the scent is like at least okay, not bad, not too great either. But at least if I was wearing a Ganella cologne or something, it wouldn't clash and it would stay out of the way. So that's like an upside to it. Other than that, I mean the pomade, hopefully it's sold for a pretty low price or something. Because I mean, I wouldn't be willing to spend much money on this either. I mean, it's called Deluxe Pomade. We already got Layrite Deluxe, Uppercut Deluxe, all kinds of Deluxe everywhere. But they chose to call their pomade Deluxe Pomade. That's like me calling my my pomade good pomade. You gotta buy it. It's good pomade. I mean, but whatever. I mean, it did its job. Let's be perfectly honest. Um, nothing bad about it. Nothing too great about it either. So, if you are into those like just traditional classic products and something just standard, no surprises, then yeah, that's all you. But if you like things that kind of push their boundaries more and like not so much experimental, but they um, give you things that are unique to the product, then you got to go elsewhere. But either way, yeah, that is the Lux Pomade, guys. And unlike me, I hope you guys have a great day. Because I'm pissed. I'm going to go eat some Cheez-Its now, some BS like that.